everyone. Welcome to Let's Unbound. And today we are going to reveal the solution to another problem that came in Math Tango 2024 exam for grade one and two. So let me show you the question. So it's a very interesting question that says each digit shown on the right is made using a piece of ribbon. Which piece of ribbon is the longest? Okay, so what we have to do is, first of all, to start with this problem, let's divide the shape into square pieces, right? Because if you are going to see the sheet where the ribbon and the digits are being placed, they are already in a square grid, right? So, here is a square, correct? And all the squares are identical to each other. So let's try to divide the digits which are there into the pieces. Okay. So if you will see number one, it is made up of one square, two square, three squares, four squares, and five squares. Correct. Right now, I am not going to count this folded pieces. Okay. I'm just splitting it into full and final squares. That is five for the first digit. Now, if I do the same thing for the second shape, so how many squares will I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Correct? So that means it is not option number A. Correct? Now, if I do the same thing for the next digit, that is number five. So let's see how many squares we are going to get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, looks like a tie between seven, two and five, right? Okay, let's see the six. We are having one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight, nine. Why eight and nine? Because they have been overlapped, right? They have been overlapped. So if I will count one, that is eight. Just below it, we are having another one. So nine. Okay. So nine, which is the greatest number if we compare five, seven, and nine. Correct? So we can say from here that the piece of the ribbon, which is the longest, it is used for number six. And we got our answer, right? But if you want, you can count these triangular parts too. Now, if you will see, this is how it is being folded, right? Where we are able to see a tiny little triangle. But if we are going to open it, it is going to make one complete whole square, right? It is being folded like this, which shows us, okay, this is half of the square. But if we are going to open it, it is going to form a complete whole one square. So this will be counted as one, one square, right? So for example, if we talk about number one, it is made up of five plus one, that is six squares. Okay, and simultaneously you can do for the other, other digits as well. But if you don't want to do it, just split up the shape into square pieces. That is the easiest way you can apply here. And you can easily get your answer that is 6, which is made up of 9 full squares. Yeah, but yes, again, if you want to count these pieces, the triangular pieces, you can count one, one for each. Then also you will be able to get the same answer. Okay. So let's try to do it. For the first one, we got that it is made up of six squares. Let's see for the two. Already we are having seven. This is going to be another one. 2, 3, 4, plus 4, that is 11. Correct. 
11 squares. Now for number 5, it is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 again. So it will make 11. Correct. 7 plus 4 is 11. And for this last one, it is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 again. So 9 plus 4 will be a 30. Okay. So then also we are getting the same answer. So I hope you were able to understand. And it was a good question, really good question and a tricky one as well. But yes, that is it for today's video. And if you will have any doubts in any of the questions, feel free to reach out to us via comments or you can also join our WhatsApp community. The link is in the description. I will see you in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Thank you so much.